Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. Sunday Adiyamo, popularly known as Sunday Bo, has said to Ahmad Ugumi that you can't threaten the federal government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to secure negotiation contracts with bandits. As criticism continues to surround the re- recent report, reported outburst of the Northern Islamic cleric, Sheikh Ahmad Gumi over the appointed appointment of some Christians into the strategic position, Chief Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Bo, stated on Tuesday that the cleric cannot use subtle threat to secure his negotiation contracts with bandits under the administration of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, impressing over Shua Jubala Ahmed Tunumbu. Sunday Adeyemo, who emphasized that Ashwa Dubala Metunumbu's choice of his ministers and their activities should not be should not allegedly be used as a decoy by Ahmad Gumi to seek reckoning or make discreet threats to obtain the job of negotiating with mindless bandits and terrorists as he did under the immediate past government of the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari. It is worth noting that a video clip of the public Islamic cleric decrying the appointment of Southern Christian by Ashiwa Jubala Metunubu to edge strategic positions in the north, alongside with the Federal Capital Territory FCT Minister Moinsom Wike's recent hosting of Israel Ambassador to Nigeria Michael Freeman in Abuja of in his Abuja office, has generated criticism from some quarters. However, in a personally signed statement forwarded to journalists in Ibadan, the Oyo State capital, Sunday Adeyemo, who is popularly known as Sunday Bobo, warned Sheikh Ahmad Gomi to refrain from fanning the embers of disunity in the Federal Republic of Nigeria with his inflammatory statement, which he claimed were capable of causing disaffections among the citizenry. The statement reads, we are familiar with Gumi's background and his tactics. Before the rise of Tinumbu, individuals like him should be answering questions to security agencies about their roles in the ongoing insurgency in the northern part of Nigeria. While we continue to advocate for an egalitarian society, we cannot stand by and allow Sheikh Ahmad Gumi to steer up political tension with his careless, destructive and insulting statement through his sermons. Nigeria's security as enshrined in the 1999 constitution must not be violated by anyone, no matter how highly or lowly placed. We are not supporters of the Federal Republic of Nigeria federal government, but we remain part of the critical stakeholders in the project of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Hence, yet there is a need to promote sanity and decorum in the ears of anyone displaying religious fantasism. For peace to prevail, it is the responsibility of, of everyone to refrain from any action that could provoke mutual suspicion, distrust, and unnecessary crisis in Nigeria. Chief Sunday Ademi Ademo, popularly known as Sunday Bo, who is a Nigerian self determination activist and philanthropist, nicknamed after his hometown, he rose to fame following his role in the Modakeke Ife communal crisis in 1997 where he played an active part. He is the chairman of Addison International Business Concept. His chief dancer title, title is Akoni Odua of Yoruba Land, has become famous in recent years. He gained social media attention in January 2021 when he gave an ultimatum to Fulani headsmen in Ibarapa to vacate the land after killing the after the killing of the Dr. Aborodi and Enforced Singh. Sunday Bowo is currently agitating for the freedom of Southwest. Sunday Bowo was born in Igboho, the old Oyo town of Okiogun in Oyo State. His father relocated his father relocated the family to Modakeke in Osho State. Modakeke is which is a town in Osho State, Southwest Nigeria with a population of close to 500,000 people. The Modakekes are also known as the Akurai and have a history of valor at war and are prosperous farmers. Modakeke, which is located in the tropical forest southwest of Nigeria, 
It is about 45 kilometers from Oshogo, the Oshun state capital, and 90 kilometers from Ibadan, the capital of Oyo state, a neighboring state. Also, the headquarters of Ife East Area Office is about 75 kilometers from Ore. Though they observe every public holiday in Nigeria, one special day dear to their heart is Akurai Day. It is celebrated on the last Saturday of December. The founding of Mudakeke is intimately and closely linked to the interwined and the internecine war that ravaged Yoruba land in the 19th century. The war saw the collapse of the old Oyo Empire and establishment of new settlements across Yoruba land in this period and time. Mudakeke was thus established on the virgin land in 1845. Mudakeke from its founding in 1845 grew rapidly as more were displaced or your poured into the new settlement. Its people did not waste time before they found into the forest, tilling the soil and recording bount- bountiful harvest. The absence of government attention pre- predicated Mudakeke's struggle for self-determination. Mudakeke men are usually known as dis- dis- disciplined and highly trained warriors. People from Mudakeke are called Mudakekeans. One unique thing about the, the people of Mudakeke is that they have their own traditional song and it is played with a drum called Bembe. Chief Sade Yamosonde Bobo was relocated to Mudakeke town in Oshun State by his father. Yeah, he grew up. He started off as a bicycle, as a motorcycle repairer and then ventured into automobiles where he sells cars and was able to start his current artisan business. Sunday Bobo who gained international attention after the parts after the part he played in the Modakeke Ife War between 1997 and 1998, where he was a defendant of Modakeke's people. And thereafter relocated to Ibadan where he met he met former Oyo State Governor Lamadishino through a courageous step while trying to defend the rights of the people at the first station. He also went on to work with former governor Rashid Ladoja and became one of the, his most trusted aides. As the Akoni of, of Udua, Akoni Udua of Yoruba land, Chief Adeni Sondegbowo is known for fighting for the rights of Yoruba people and advocating for the Udua Republic. Chief Adeni Isonde Igbowo, who is a Christian, he is married with two wives and has children, including three professional footballers playing in Germany. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And tell me your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I will see you on the next news as I will be bringing you more interesting news. Bye for now.